Did you get EXP for the allies encounter as well? I don't think so. That being said, maybe you do. Though you're with the main group, so... Uh, sure, let's continue to buff that up. Because my allies aren't with us, they, they're over the town, so... Having a hunter is so good for encountering any, any kind of beast. I would strongly recommend never to go outside without a hunter. For that reason. Oh, there we go. The children both got a level up. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Follow confirmed. As for you, not too much of one, but uh, okay. Uh, I guess we could go with strength. We might end up with another warrior. The Endless Noodle Bowl, now at Olive Garden. Only not so endless, sadly. Yeah, it's no longer a risk. Now that we've got over seven mysticism, they will be given that option. An armed group of Slavians stand before you. Let us have a chat. Hopefully that, that's given them, the children a little bit of uh, XP as well. Let's go take on this snake lair nest. Um, I'm not going to take on that Lightbringer's quest because, again, that's the one I'm fairly certain is the Dwarven Smith. Uh, you come across a small hamlet of houses. You hear a terrible cry from one of them. You see a child sitting outside, covering their ears. Approach the child and ask what's going on. Oh, sorry. It's Uncle Tobias again. He's our hunter, but he's really weird. He lost his bunny again, and he just cries and shouts all day. He told me to watch him, but I'm real sick of it. Can you tell him to stop or leave? We've all had enough. He attacked my dar because he thought the stupid bunny was in our place. Um, I agreed to help find the bunny. You will? Oh my, thank you. He's small, like this. And he's white and fluffy, and he likes carrots. And when he got lost, all I found was this odd drawing of a tree. The man is in no state to accompany you. Oddly, you recognize this tree. You pass it on your way here. Mark it on your map and leave. Ah, uh, okay. Looks so like we're about to get a second bunny. Near the nest. Hello, Diablo Radike. Thank you very much for the raid, mate. Welcome, Raiders. Daplings, you know the rules. Lay out the tea, the biscuits, the robes. The robes are not an option. They must be worn. Don't mind what you wear underneath, though. But the robes have to be on top. Will it be another Vorpal bunny? I, I don't know, honestly. I don't know what's going to be happening there. But welcome, Raiders. My name is Avic, if you're not familiar. And uh, over here on Twitch, and indeed on YouTube for the most part, uh, I am a bit of a variety streamer. Uh, today we're playing Thea, a, in my my opinion, a, a critically, criminally, underknown game. It's a bit of a bit of a jam in the rough. Um, it is the sequel uh, to Thea One, and is well, kind of a, a turn-based RPG strategy game with a very very strong and deep roots in Slavic and kind of European mythology. I hope you, your stream went well, mate. What were you playing, Diablo? Underknown is a beautiful little spin on language. Thank you. Factorio, oh, fantastic. How's your factory going? The best kind of Oreo. I mean, as someone who, who has really seen the, see the big appeal about Oreos, I would agree. Wow, 
Well, the sound of the dumplings. Uh, Diablo over there has uh, some vaults of Factoria, if you're interested, after the stream. If you are, then do consider dropping them a follow so you can find your way back there. It's down to 30 UPS now because it's getting ridiculously big. Isn't that the fate of all Factorio factories, though? Eventually. <laughs> Eventually, it will just slow down and, and choke itself to death under its enormous... Well... I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna say weight, but it's not really its the weight. It's, it's, it's more of its girth. But then I stopped myself because I was like, wait a second, I'm talking about choking and girth in the same sentence. And, I, and then I thought, ah, throw caution to the wind, I shall talk about them in the same sentence if I want to. And so here we are. Some may regret the fact that we're here. I do not. Uh, right, okay. <sighs> Honestly, our crafter is going to benefit the most from wisdom. So many bonuses from being in the town now. Factorio will be played on the next Avac after Dark Stream. Got it. Uh, but with that, let us make our way. Well, the Bunny Man. Okay. Let's go and check out this. You hear a beautiful flute melody and see three women wearing sparse white garments whirling around a circle. Their energy and laughter are infectious and they beckon. Demons, stay alert for trickery, but join in. Intellect or nature? Intellect and nature dictate that this may be a trap to remain cautious, but join them. The melody is so sublime, the dance is so exquisite. Go, dance, forget your worries. Uh, well, we've got demons with us, so we should be okay, but... Intellect or nature are our godly um, domains. So we're going to go whoa, with this one. This is a spirit battle, which is also uh, one of our domains. But this one is explicitly part of the domain. You approach the women, and the melody becomes more seductive with every step. Luckily, you were prepared for such trickery, so the charm has no real hold over you. For now. You are aware that if you last through the whole dance, you would be rewarded. Keep your wits... Uh, about you and dance with the Rusalkas. Magic user or mysticism, use magic to ward you from this charm, and then dance with the Rusalkas. Or attack. Too great a risk. Run away! Too much peril. Far too perilous. You just got this event half an hour ago, did you, Vid? Uh, we'll use magic uh, to pop up a ward. The demon's trickery fails, and you see the real faces of the dancing nymphs. They run off angry, and you feel wiser for surviving the encounter. Woohoo! Destiny increased for Dark Avac, and Wisdom plus two. My lord. Okay. I have a little peril. Just a bit. Nope, too perilous. You follow the trail to the Lost Bunny and come across a large ma um, mansion where an old man greets you. He sits by a lake in his garden, surrounded by several Rasalkas who serve him. All of the women have rabbit ears crudely sewn onto their foreheads. Sewn onto their foreheads? And rabbit tails attached to their bottoms. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I mean, initially I was like, oh, they're wearing rabbit costumes. But then all of a sudden it was like, sewn onto them. Hmm, right. This is some um, human centipede nonsense going on right here, right now. Speak to the man, ask about the lost bunny. Oh, balls, we're going to have to deal with the Rasalkas. Uh, this actually could be a little bit of a tricky one. Uh, no, actually, I think we're, we're probably going to be fine to do an auto-resolve. No, you know what? No, I want to talk to the Rasalkas. It's been a while since we've done a battle. 55 health. And they do poison damage attacks. Okay. Uh, we are going to throw down, to start with, Dark Ave. Next up, we're going to move in with Energy Disrupt. This is what I meant when I asked for buddy girls. Too late now. This is what you're getting. Whether it's what you wanted or not. I could roll out maneuver. Another out maneuver. Oh, actually, no. That's not out maneuver. Oh, yeah, it is. That's a lot of damage. Sure. 
Okay, that's not an ability I've normally seen. Trigger alt attack places the character on the battlefield in melee or ranged row. Subskill effects will activate in fight phase according to the fight order. Target battlefield except the caster. Targets all enemies and allies except the caster. So you just do damage to everyone. Right, I see. Scallywag that you are. Summon a wraith. And... Ah, oh, balls. We're so close... Ah, uh, right, okay. We're so close to the town that we've actually got some of the town folk here instead of our normal group. It's a shame. Okay. Some random guy just carrying some logs. Uh, okay. Wait, game, is that a you for me? We should be able to do this fairly easily with the amount of shielding that we've got. Taking any damage, but you'll be you'll have to go through them, so I'm gonna take you out. Because that'll take two people out in one go. Okay, I was hoping you'd go in that direction, but sure. Shield leech. Now you'll be able to remove her completely from battle. Which means that this one will won't even actually take out the the wraith. There is literally no one else I could select. So why you're giving me a choice, I don't know, but sure. And now we just finish off whoever's in the the deck. I'm afraid that only bunnies hopping around are my lovelies. Here, have a drink on me, but I can sell you this little white goat. It kind of looks like a bunny. It almost I almost thought it was at first, hence it being here with me. Um <laughs> Okay, Shadowstar got some intelligence. But we've got a couple of people in the group that are attractive, or rather beautiful, in fact. So That's for the fake bunny for free. Why, I never could say no to a pretty face. Here, take it and have fun. Thank him and leave. Uh, okay, a bunny. It's a bunny. <laughs> really, it is. <laughs> I don't even know what just went on, frankly. Uh... Okay, so the, go <laughs> the goat has gone... Into Dragon's Rest, kind of annoyingly, but okay. Let's have a look at the goat, though. Uh, what? I. This bunny is also made of mythical leather and beetle jelly, but. I... Right. It is made from the same stuff as, my, as as our rabbit, though, so yeah, no, it's true. Very, very good point. Our actual bunny is made from mythical leather and uh, beetle jelly, a, f a white fluffy ghost. Right, the children have gained a level up. We can either improve protective word or add outmaneuver, which is honestly, oh, my, my lord, you can improve your, your arguing skills, which is, I suppose, good. Um... Abacalypticon. You've not got many levels left, so I'm feeling that I kind of need to...
Ah, uh, sure, I'll go with Destiny for now. Just this once. The boat has been finished, though. Hooray! There it is. Our ship. For now, could you get on with get, get, uh, gathering some more grain? As for our... Oh, the day is clear, yet suddenly before you hangs a singular dark patch of thunder and clouds. It's moving fast. Oh, okay. Well, we've already seen everything in this particular event. The child has a swollen tooth and wants to know the way to the healer, but we've got crafty people who are willing to take out the tooth as long as he offers... Uh, at, at the price of a demon deal, so they can't... Uh, be a scallywag, but and sometimes he d isn't. However, the last time he kind of was. Uh, we're going to recycle all of those. They're not particularly good items, so there we go. Now we'll find out if he kept his word or whether he was was a scallywag after all. all right, we can drop off all of the items that we don't need. Yep, yeah, I think that's fine. And with that. Onward to the bunny man. The bunny man, Tobias, finds you on the way back. He's accompanied by a friend. You found him? Oh, sorry. You found him? He looks at you suspiciously. Take out the white baby goat and convince him it is, in fact, his bunny, changed by magic. Actually, admit that you do not have the bunny or the goat bunny with you. But I do. Actually, there with the, with the bunny is amazing. We should be able to convince him. Oh, well, fair enough. We are reunited, Nala. Now I shall join you. Oh, and Radzio give me uh, Radzio gave me this gift for you. Said to tell you thanks and good luck. Whatever does he mean? Oh child. Ah, okay. Wait. Wait. What? What? He's joined us now? Oh no. But he's got the crazy cursed bunny. I don't approve. Look, how, how, uh, okay. This is what we're gonna do. This is how it's gonna go down. You can keep your bunny in the town. But it's never going to be equipped, and thus its effects can never harm us, hopefully. Now, where are we going to cross this? Uh, we can cross by there, but first... Well, actually, you know what? Sure. Ha-ha! We, we are afloat! I have no idea what this is. But I kind of want to know. Uh, but, what I want to know more... Okay, we're gonna have to wait a turn. It's what what's over on those islands. So some bunny ears, his forehead, and see if it sticks. Oh my god, no! It's grim, chat. Super grim. Uh, as for research, we're gonna continue improving our shields. We'll now be able to use wood for the shields. Your eyes peeled for blue orcs. They will make a mockery of us. We will be so dead. Okay. It's a tiny little island, but I want to know what's on it first before we... Uh, before we head out towards the goblin lands. You know what? Since I'm, since I'm here, I may as well grab some food. For, uh, for two turns. Yeah. What? You notice that some of your resources are gone. Some? My lord. They even nicked my armor. Did they nick the goat? No, they didn't nick the goat, sadly. Try to track the thieves. 
you could swear you followed their tracks, but suddenly disappeared under a tree. There's no sign of someone climbing up. Hunter or Perception, take a closer look and tell him to try to figure this out. The thieves must have been in league with goblins, as eventually you discover odd contraptions that hide the ropes they use to climb the trees quickly and evade capture. But now you have the right trail to follow. Mark it on the map. Such scoundrels! Where are they? Right down there, it looks like. Uh, or... Oh, my lord. There, I... Damn it, there's a million quests all of a sudden. Continued. Well, actually, you know what? We may as well buff that. Will there be events on water too? Yes. Are the events on water nice? No. Hot Raptor. Um, I'm going to continue to buff your hunter's mark, I think. Hello, Snake Snakes. Also, hello, completely other people. Oh man, it's been so long since we've seen ter terrain that we haven't been to before. It's a rare thing. Right, so first, let's deal with the snake's nest. Oh. We weren't able to deal with that one as uh, regular hunting. Now who'll be you? An armed group of scavengers stands before you. Scavengers are only after stuff. Give them some, and perhaps they'll... You'll make friends. Uh... I still feel bad about the other scavengers, so sure, I'll give them some stuff. You can have... Some seaweed. Fish. There you go. Sure, you fool. But we don't care. Bye. You do care, really. You do care. Deep down. You care a little bit. You just don't want to admit it. Right, so that's scavenger... Scavenger base. Okay. But for now... I may as well grab some bits and bobs. And go ahead and do a little bit of research. Um, could we cook? I suppose we could. Get some fish and we... well actually, make some meaty meat. Some meaty fish. Want to dig this up? We'll gain something that we can research. Also, oh man, there's another one down there. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we'll continue to scavenge this area first. Which onions got sad with no onions visible? Sad must have had onions on it at some point, given the smell of the container. Now I get to cough for the rest of the day. Oh wow! I hope you're not like really severely allergic to it if so well i mean you obviously know what you need to do but oof. as you sit by the campfire some of the sparks from the flame begin to dance in the air they move away from the bonfire and become glimmers in the night they seem to want you to follow somewhere follow the glimmers the glimmers guide you to a path that is not only abundant in fruit but also may prove to be a useful shortcut on your journey wow Permanently faster. That was kind of a huge deal. That is not something you regularly see. That was kind of crazy good. We are now permanently faster as a group. Yeah, we've got the zoomies. I've never seen that event before. Didn't even know you could get something like that. Uh, hmm. uh, no. 
gaining a little bit of extra strength will A, allow you to carry more, and B, will make you, uh, give you more hit points, so. Right, we now have the means to make... Let's, uh, let's move over there. We've now got the means to make some better shields. So let's start with that. Oh, of course, I, I haven't given you a job, have I? Uh, right, so... In terms of wood, the dark wood is the best thing, the best that we've got. I can make a purely dark wood shield, which gives 10.2 increased shielding. I mean, that's okay. Alternatively, I could make a dark wood, dark bone shield that doesn't give quite as much. Wow, that would give uh, extra attributes there. Or 24.5 increased shielding if I just go with that. But honestly, I'm kind of feeling... Unless we've got something that's like 1.4 that I'd be able to use. Which I don't see. We're not far off having 1.4, but... Still a little ways off it for now. Uh, oh. Use pristine matter on it. <laughs> At that point, I could go for a legendary shield. Plus two increased movement attributes. But I feel that it's probably better to use the, the pristine matter darkwood shield for just raw shielding. Oh, that's lovely, Olipop. Yeah, I don't think there's any any better option for us right now. Instead of using coal to upgrade resources, but honestly, that's that's pretty solid shield. I think we'll go with this. Bonk. Be done in two turns. Oh, I had forgotten that you could zoom in on the minimap. Thank you very much for reminding me. That is a lot easier. Heavenly Hands, wow, thank you so much for that whomping great gift bomb there. And it's your first gift subs on the channel as well. Ten, straight out of the gate. Thank you so, so much. Please be sure to pop plenty of love in chat. For that prodigious generosity. Thank you. Hello, Star Lady. Good morning. That was incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, Heavenly Hands. Hey, Abak. I used to watch your YouTube. Uh, uh, sorry, you a lot in YouTube. But I... Uh, been following up. But now here I am. Well, I'm very glad to see you. Right, we've managed to pick up our new item there, which we could research if we wanted to, but I think it makes more sense for us to pop on down here and extract this. We'll find out then whatever item exists here. Sadly, it was just scaled leather there again, though. I mean, you know, it's not terrible that there's two bunches of scaled leather there. Wow, okay. <laughs> Violet Kitten, thank you thank you so much for the six gift subs there. Tiochan and Dark Guardsman as well for the Prime sub for the third month. Third month, second best month. Thank you ever so much. And there we go, a hype train as well. Already on its way to level four. Thanks once again to the amazing generosity of the Daplings, my lord. 25% of the way to level four already. Thank you very much, uh, Budogok, for the cheer there. That was very kind of you. Uh, right, I'm going to trade, I suppose. 
Uh, you can have some of my veggies. Sure, you fool, but we don't care. Bye. You do, though. Secretly, deep down, you care. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, crafty old goat can grab that. <laughs> Bamboo bazooka in there with another ten gift subs. And ardent drub. And violet kitten with a cheer. And Shailana, uh, uh, Lanya rather, with another cheer. And Shailanya with a five a month resubscription. Bernalius with a 200 cheer, Sophia Dragon with a cheer, and Arkudok with a prime set for 15 months. We are now halfway to a level 5 hype train. Oh my lord. That has happened so quickly. 58% of the way to level 5 already. <laughs> These hype trains go quickly. They, they do sometimes, yeah. I guess that uh, people are glad to see Thea being played again. You there. What do you want here? And Krita, thank you so much for the cheer. Say, so, Lanya, thank you so much for the gift sub as well. You're first on the channel. That's incredibly kind of you. Diolkan Faurion. That's incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Thank you. And Kenneth with another three gift subs. And I do believe that's it. So, level five in two minutes. Well done, Dapplings. I think you beat your previous record. One can't contain the Dapplings desire to speedrun. Whether it be gain, games, gains, or uh, hype trains. Thank you so much, RNGesus, as well. Thank you so much for the six months. And the cheers from uh, Kratha as well. And Alice Tappers with a gift sub. And CC Riddle with a gift sub. My lord. That was very kind of you there, Alice, for the, the gift sub to Olipop. Really, really sweet of you. Uh... As for what we do with the scavengers, I'm going to ask if there's anything we can help with. You're looking to help a fellow, eh? Sure, there's always trouble. Ask if anything needs killing. Some damned crows sit in a tower nearby. They keep bothering us, so we ain't got the time to get them. You'll deal with it if you want. I'll agree to that. There we go. Faction loyalty is starting to go up very nicely now. Uh, but we're not going to deal with it immediately. Uh, I think... Well, past this turn, I want to go over and explore what that is first, and while we're gathering that, I can have our peeps research the previous one we dug up. That's so incredibly kind of you. Thank you all so, so much for that. 147% through level 5. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you. No problem. Cult time. Well, there is quite a lot of you in chat at this point. I uh, am a little bit disappointed with how few robes I can see. Uh, Jake Toady. Are we going with intelligence? Uh, we could do... Well, I kind of feel... Uh, you know what, actually? Sure, we'll go with Mr. Sim, because really we don't have much of an option there for any of you, the, the main skills that you like. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling you're feeling cheered by that, Olipop. It's lovely to see. Microbe is the best I could. <laughs> Demi of Derp, that is that is that, that that is glorious. I I approve heavily of that one actually. Bobby Knight, thank you so much for the subscription. I hope you're enjoying the stream. One would expect you are if you subscribe, but yeah. still, I hope you're enjoying. It. Uh, you are ambushed by bandits. Your goods or your lives. Uh, let's, let's parlay with the bandits. Easily won. Well, I guess I can be convinced to let you pay a smaller fee. And we can even do some trading. Best I can do. Okay, well, we gained some wisdom from that. I could just straight up attack them at this point. Um... Because this group doesn't have a lot of money. 
with them. They don't have many things that we could trade, so I think we're gonna have to go for the attack. How about keeps the worries of my test results at bay? Your videos always cheer me up. Oh, well, that's lovely of you to say. I'm really glad that that's the case. Whatever small distraction I can offer, I'm happy to. Are we going to seduce him? No, I think our beautiful um, clan members aren't here. And Dark Avic's definitely not going to do it. He's creepy. Um, so, sadly, no. You can seduce them, however, if you have a beautiful person in the group. Thank you so much for that wonderful hype train. Please, by all means, do share your new hyper mode in chat. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead with an attack. It, it's pretty much a done deal, but you know what? We'll, we'll do it manually. Again, it's been a little while since we've uh, gotten the... Wow, okay. So you're now up to 41 damage just straight out the gate. I approve. Quite a lot. Wow. Rude. Um, could I get a... Oh, spiders are ranged fighters. Of course they are. Um, could I get a Wraith friend to help out? Oh, now we've got some uh, protection. And at this point, I'm going to want to start buffing Dark Avoc up. And they're counter buffing. Okay. And then attacking. Try some moves. Um. Could have you join. But I'd have to pay two for that. So I'm disinclined to. Instead, I'm going to have our archer join. I'm going to keep you behind for now. So that you can use your swap ability for Dark Avac. Oh, that being said, Dark Avac's already actually going to be taking their turn first. So I might not need to. Um... I think we're going to keep our points till the next turn. See what they play. You dropped our strength there a bit. Uh, looks like, honestly, you're just going to play a single combatant here. Which is an interesting move. Very interesting move. Alright, well, since Dark Havoc's already going to take a turn first, I'm instead going to swap your turns around so that my warrior takes the first turn. That will also slow the uh, bandit leader down. Oh, okay, Scallywag, you got in there with the uh, rats right at the end. That's fine. They're not going to be able to get through the armor. I'm extremely excited. Morning improved. Hello, Arabowman. How are you doing, mate? Go do a little bit of damage. Following up. Stunned again. Counter attack. And lights out. Now, they've still got quite a few enemies on the field, so... But it's interesting that none of them got played there. They must have felt that there was no reason to play anyone but that main character, that their best chances were if that character alone attacked. Though, I honestly, I can't see why, because having a couple more characters on the field would have prolonged that fight. At this point, I'm starting to think that they're going to drag this out by just not playing anyone but one character at a time. So it might be better for me to play more characters. Uh, what? 
of course, they're probably doing the same thing. They may have a witch who's got a similar ability, because these are unliving rats. So they're probably pulling off uh, some an unliving rat, which means that character is constantly taking damage as well, which is rather good for us. Dark a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to have one more move to make after this. Yeah, I strongly suspect that's the case, actually. In this case, then, I'm just going to play a Wraith just to deal with the damage that's going to come out there. I'm sorry to hear that you had a rough night last night, Arrow Bowman. I hope your day improves, mate. You kill the bandits and loot their bodies. Uh, we don't need iron medium armor. Those amber robes aren't particularly good either. Nor is that shield. Not for us, anyway. Gather what we find. Among other things, you find a treasure map. A treasure map? Well, well, well. It's rather good. Okay. Uh, let's pitch camp. Okay, well, maybe not. Oh, wait, we haven't unlocked silver as a material that I can mine myself yet, so, sadly. Uh, let's get our best gatherers there. Let's get our best researchers here. And our second best researchers. There we go. But we do have a shield made. Is anyone here capable of wielding such devices? Uh, Tobias is, actually. So, sure. Tobias, you can grab that. You can also have a dog with you. You are a hunter, so a bow would be a good option, actually. Hmm. Well. A lot of items here that I don't really want to give to you. Well, I suppose for now, until we've got a bow, there's no, there's no point for you not having that one, but... Okay, now you can't wield it. That'll do for now. Hmm. Probably make a better ring for you. Maybe even something that would give you the ability to carry a bit more weight. One hundred and twenty-two there. Fifty-five. Ironic that it's made of obsidian. But sure, we can we can give you this. So let's get that being made. Right, our hunter has got an update. Fantastic perception. Considering how high their level is now. Every level that gives us something that actually works for their main skills is, is perfect. Wow, okay, so that was a masterwork item which gives 195 instead of the expected amount. Let's pop that one there. Pomp. You can actually now carry a stupendous amount of weight. And I'm going to downgrade your armor. It'll protect a little bit less for physical armor, but has got some nice protections all around instead. Uh, I could probably give you these crafting tools too now so, so you can carry them, but ultimately it would be better for me to make some um, gathering tools for you. So... Once again, it comes down to this being one of the better resources that I can use. Yeah. Um, Tobias 
right now is probably going to be lingering around the town. So I'm going to give you this one. Since it'll give you slightly better gathering overall. Since you're likely to have above 10 gathering. So that bonus is going to end up being much better for you. 